Hello there, YouTubers. Why is the rum always gone? Hi. Now that we get the rear ponytail done, now let's take a look at the progress so far. See, these were the pieces of hair before that, that we didn't attach in. Now it blends in real nice. And then you see how there's a a mismatch in length here now. From where the dread stop to the hair. We're gonna trim that all up after. Progress so far. Getting close. Now the hair that's hanging down here now, just just cut it about an inch or two lower than the dreads themselves because it will start to bunch up a little bit after a while. And I like to cut it on a on a downward angle. Like this this way, it looks more natural. You don't want it to be you don't want a straight across cut. So watch. I don't just do one cut. I'll just kind of I'll slide it downwards. Watch. See that? So now it's kind of uh, feathered. We'll do that with all the strands here. Do them all separate lengths too so it looks it looks more natural. See that one was up here. Now let's go to the next one. We'll start it down here. And then slide it down. And then in the back it's going to actually be even longer. Try to get it between, find a line between where the dreads end and the rear ponytail ends, which is over here. I'll show you. All right, so this is where the rear ponytail ends and this is where the dreads end. So cut these back pieces in between that length. Clean it up nice. Now this side. And of course, mate, do not forget to smash those likes. Now the hair and subscribe that's on Zavi? the rear ponytail now, sorry, the side ponytail. We're going to cut that. See, because it's still there's a major discrepancy in length here. We're going to just cut that about two, three inches lower than the side ponytail dreadlock. Okay, so that sits higher than everything else. Two inches, two, three inches lower than that. Now we have the side braid. It goes down the right side of Jack's face. Same technique with the cutting on a downward angle. But cut it from, I like to go from the front back downwards. And we'll start it at about inch and a half and then then go down so like that and then just kind of walk it downward and if it looks if it looks too fluffy you can either hit it with the flat iron again or just put some uh, hairspray on it to close it up all right now we're going to clean up the bangs here Take a take a couple a couple tundrals of hair here. Put them backwards. We're not gonna cut those. We don't want to cut all the length. Anything that's falling in front of the face, just keep it there because we're gonna end up cutting that pretty much all the way off. Separate it nice first.
keep some some of the light there. Now to get that measurement, I was holding the scissor off the face, and I was looking at this mark here. I matched them up on both sides. Bangs done now. Coming down in front of the face. And get yourself a nice sharp scissor. These you're just gonna want to cut above the eyebrows because you don't want them falling past the bandana. Trim it up if you have any mistakes. Just trim it up. Get it from the front. So the little two pieces we just cut. Because you're gonna want once you put the bandana on, you want some of that hair here flipping out. That's up Jackson's. A little bit of pieces like there, on both sides. Alright. Making progress. Hang in there. You can do it. If you can't. You want to get it made by the master himself, anthonyzarillo.com. Why is the rum always gone? And all you fellow pirates out there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hey.